machine learning so in a last lecture we have seen about the fast knn so how the fast k nearest neighbor searching algorithm works so we have seen one of the algorithm k dimensional tree so we have seen the theory of how actually the kd tree works how the kd tree construction works how the space complexity increase in the case of kd tree and how the testing time the particular testing time will be drastically reduced in case of kd tree so in this tutorial we are going to see about how we'll implement or how we'll use the uh, ready made functions available inside the scikit learn library for using the k dimensional tree so in a uh, earlier lectures of this k nearest neighbor uh, series we have already implemented the nearest neighbor uh, part and we supplied some dummy data and uh, we experimented with it the same part the nearest neighbor we are going to use here okay so i have already opened the two window so in a one window we are going to use this brute force search way of implementing this knn algorithm and in another uh, window i have supplied the same code but we'll supply and we'll try to find the nearest neighbor with the help of kd3 in a scikit learn library so let's begin let's start with the brute force way so we already earlier did it if you don't supply any kind of uh, algorithm by default it will take autom and automatically it will decide based on the data but in this case we'll explicitly supply that you use this brute force search so it's a new base implementation we already earlier implemented those thing so let's just uh, in both the cases we'll do uh, data import so i have already created a very small snippet for the data cre uh, generation so we are going to use this numpy library a random function and we are going to generate somewhere around 100 million uh, records and each and every record having a three feature in a both the window i have already created this snippet so let me just uh, run it and it will create the training data for us in a which is having a dimension of 100 million cross 3 so total 100 million record in each record is having a three feature the same thing in case of kd3 also okay so uh, almost in a both the case it will run uh, we it will generate this uh, training data now let's create this uh, tr uh, start with the training almost my machine has been frozen training part in a both the cases uh, we have already earlier uh, discuss in our theoretical aspects of this uh, knn algorithm that in case of this brute force uh, searching algorithm in i mean the new way implementation of this uh, finding nearest neighbor uh, search uh, it doesn't require any kind of uh, training whatever the input data is available by default itself is a training so i am using this nearest neighbor uh, constructor and we are going to supply this phi phi is nothing but the phi total nearest neighbor i want it an algorithm we are going to use which is nothing but the brute uh, which is brute force search way you find the nearest neighbor for us and in the case of this kd3 the exactly same thing only thing is that in case of algorithm we are going to supply this kd underscore uh, tree so wha uh, what is the difference of running this two uh this will just create this nearest neighbor constructor nearest neighbor object for the for us then we will apply the testing data on the top of this nearest neighbor uh, object but in case of this brute force it just uh, creates it and training data as it is it will take it as a model but in case of this uh, kd tree it will generate actually uh the kd3 so it requires a huge amount of time for the creation of this kd3 and it requires that much amount of even memory extra memory also so i am expecting that uh, my machine may freeze actually uh, so let me just run the training part of this uh, knn brute force way okay so it has immediately created so that is nothing but it signifies that uh, it doesn't do any kind of training it will take just input data as it is and it will create a object and it will fit those data 
as it is inside this nearest neighbor object now the same thing suppose if we run in case of this kd3 in case of training so it will create this k dimensional tree whole construction of k dimensional tree going on in this case and it will fit those kd3 uh, as a part of okay i'll uh, yeah okay let me run it so you can observe that uh, this training is taking too much huge amount of time that signifies that it requires a exceptional amount of uh, memory also and plus the constructed time is construction time for the kd3 also require that is a nothing but a part of training so uh, i require a huge amount of uh, memory because uh, i have created almost 100 million record now in uh, both the cases uh, still it is uh, running so that means it requires a great amount of time for the training but then we will see about the how the testing part is immediately improve in case of this kd3 still it's running so in case of brute force search this training time is almost nil but in case of this uh, kd3 the training time is uh, quite huge but that is a kind of offline process so you can bear with those kind of uh, time okay let's wait for some time and let's see how much time it will take for creation of this kd3 it's taking good amount of time still now before it runs let's go for the testing part of this brute force search way now in case of brute force search way uh, this i have created very small snippet and i have in integrated with the time so it will give us the total amount of time taken uh, by execution of this code so i have uh, created a very simple uh, data set uh, same data set in uh, both the cases uh, a three dimensional uh, data set i have reshaped it because uh, that is the way this testing part requires and in a uh, top of this uh, nearest neighbor object i am supplying this testing data now in case of this testing data what happens that whatever the query point we have supply it will compare this query point with each and every other point available in a training sets so it requires a really exceptional amount of uh, time so let's do this testing part and let's see how much time it will take but anyway it is still this training part is going on so what i am expecting that i'll uh, reduce this training data a little bit so it will run little at least faster i have taken a good amount of data so i am just interrupting my kernel <coughs> i'll just reduce it by two steps and i'll again regenerate data with the help of just 100000 records well, let's see how fast it is okay still uh, it's taking okay let me disable the whole jupyter notebook textbook kernel and i'll rerun it again with a small amount of data the same thing okay so i am just restarting my kernel for the jupyter notebook okay it's uh, reconnecting i'll just refresh it before that I'll, this time I am going to run with a small amount of data and I'll show you that how the uh, training is taking too much time in case of this KD3 part and how testing will be drastically reduced uh, in case of KD3 construction. So I am just uh, reduce the data by 100,000. So let me run it fast. Okay, so it has created this training now training also immediately created so training is a too much less amount of time required because it just takes data and training is almost done now let's go for the testing and let's calculate how much time it will require 
so you can see that uh, for the whatever the testing record we have supplied it has calculated this testing record uh, distance between this testing record and each and every training data it sorted those thing and it has returned us the five nearest neighbor so uh, in this case it's not important what are the distance and index that we have already seen earlier uh, for this lecture my intention was to give you how this testing time uh, will be very high in case of this brute force search algorithm but the training is almost zero so it is take it has taken almost 122 millisecond per loop so that signifies that uh, for searching the single uh, records nearest neighbor it requires 122 millisecond now uh, let's see how the same thing will work in case of this kd3 so i am going to just supply this much amount of data in case of kd3 and let me run it okay now same thing because of that only we interrupted our uh, whole coding part now we are just supplying the 100000 record so let's keep the finger crossed that it won't take much time okay yeah it has uh, immediately written us but it takes little amount of time compared to uh, what this brute force search algorithm did actually so uh, it has created this KD tree uh, for us in this uh, little amount of time. So training requires a little bit time. Now we'll see compared to uh, brute force search algorithm testing part, how this KD tree constructor testing part has drastically improved. Okay, so it's going on. Uh, actually, it will run for a three times, so uh, that's why it is giving us impression that it take too much time, but. Uh, almost it has taken a best of three so uh, 151 microseconds only so if you consider this 122 millisecond compared to 151 microsecond so it's uh, nearly about the i am expecting almost thousand time improvement compared to brute force search algorithm so that is how the credit tree is very useful in case of uh, testing uh, purpose so i hope you enjoy listening this video and you have understood that how this fast k nearest neighbor algorithm will be very beneficial in case of uh, testing phase i hope you enjoy listening this video please do like comment and subscribe it